everyone, Apprentice Brick here, back for another LEGO set review. Today we're going to be reviewing the LEGO Fantastic Beast Grindelwald's Escape. It includes two minifigures and Grindelwald's Destral Pulled Carriage. Let's get into those minifigures now. First minifigure, we have Gellert Grindelwald, the main villain for the upcoming Fantastic Beast Crimes of Grindelwald movie. First off, I really like his torso printing. Looks almost completely accurate to what we have seen in the trailers. And the leg printing continues the coat detail very nicely. You can see the back printing looks pretty nice. Not too much going on, but still is pretty cool. You can see his accessories. Here we have his dark tan wand. And the other accessory is a blue power blast piece, which you fire by pressing the back of it. You can see his first facial expression looks kind of blank, to be honest. Kind of a blank stare going on there. But his second face is much more expressive. I really like it. But LEGO forgot to include the mustache print on him, which is very odd. And his hairpiece is this white slicked back hair, which I don't really think looks too much like his hair in the movie. I kind of wish LEGO created a new mold for his hair, but I guess it's fine. But all in all, very, very cool Gellert Grindelwald minifigure. Last up, we have Serafina Pickery. I don't know much about her character because I haven't seen either of the Fantastic Beast movies, but I have to say this minifigure looks awesome. She has an all sand blue colored outfit, which looks absolutely wonderful. The torso printing is pretty plain, but still looks pretty cool. And she has the new 2018 sloped dress piece, which unfortunately has no printing on it. For accessories, she comes with an exclusive purple wand, which is absolutely amazing. And another Power Blast piece, which is the same as Grindelwald's. I also really like her facial expression with the blonde hair coming down from the hat. And her hat is a sailor's hat in sand blue. Overall, I'm very impressed with this Serafina Pickery minifigure. So now it's time to take a look at the build of the set, Grindelwald's Destral Pulled Carriage. The carriage is mainly completely black with some brown and tan highlights. All four wheels of the carriage are all gunmetal gray. The two in the back are significantly bigger than the ones in the front. At the front we have a brown chair where you can place Grindelwald. I'm a big fan of how LEGO designed the railings on this carriage. They're using these grass pieces in a black coloring and I think it just looks perfectly. The back also features the same type of railing except there is no seat if you wanted to place a minifigure here. The carriage features the same door on both sides and both of them open very nicely. But for easier access to the interior, LEGO also created the removable roof. The interior features this very, very luxurious looking red seating area, and not much else. But you can also fit another minifigure in there if you really wanted to squeeze. The carriage also features yellow lamps too on each side of the carriage. And overall, I'm a big fan of this build. The front wheel section is able to turn because of how the Technic pin is placed inside that hole there. This area right here is where we will hook up our Thestral. As you can see, the wing assembly on the Destral is completely removable. The Destral itself is a completely new mold. I'm a big fan of the printing on its face. It also has some nice rib cage detailing underneath it. And I really like the texture detailing on the mane and the tail. And you can see this area is where the wing attachment will go in. The wings on the Destral are completely movable on these clips here. And you can see the wing pieces are dual molded and they just snap into these clips right here. And that wraps up our review for the 2018 LEGO Fantastic Beast Grindelwald's Escape set. Honestly, I'm a really big fan of this set. The carriage build is well sized for the price and it has some very cool details. But I think the Destral is probably the coolest part. It's just a really cool mold. And not to mention both minifigures were absolutely fantastic. Even though the price per piece is a bit low, I think you get your $20 worth out of this set. So would I recommend this one? The answer is yes, I would definitely recommend this set. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And click the notification bell to stay updated with all my new LEGO content. Peace out.